I guess we're about to find out if this is Loot Fright that I was supposed to have six months ago. What's up, guys? I'm Tylock, and this is Homespun Geek. So full disclosure guys, I have no idea what this is. To my knowledge, I have canceled the regular Loot Crate box, which was the $25 a month box. The only thing I still had coming my direction was a Loot Fright that I paid for, I believe in April, and it is September, I believe the 15th or the 16th. Uh, so yeah, it is, well actually it might be later than the 16th, I don't know what the day is, but yeah, this. I have no idea what this is, guys. The last Loot Crate box I got was over two months ago, uh, or I don't remember, really. If this is Loot Crate, I have no idea what it is. I have no idea what the theme is. If this is the Loot, Cr Loot Fright box, it is in a Loot Crate box. I don't know. This is extremely confusing to me. I do not know what this is. I have canceled all of my Loot Crate subscriptions, guys, because I was really kind of fed up with Loot Crate. Uh, I was getting a lot of junk. I was getting a lot of repeat items, and so I was kind of tired of them. But this is just showed up this week, guys. Uh, it's a strange box. It's just a regular Loot Crate box. I don't, you're not gonna, oh, there you go. Maybe you can see that. There's like something, <laughs> there's something growing on this box right here, guys. That's what this discoloration is right here. Like a yellow color. It like, it's almost as if it's like a mold or something. I don't, I don't know what this is, guys. Loot Crate has recently filed for bankruptcy. They were supposed to be shipping out some stuff to people who paid for it. But as far as I know, I haven't paid for any more boxes that I hadn't received except for Loot Fright. Um, and I don't even remember what the theme of that Loot Fright was because it was six months ago. I paid for it in April. I think it was supposed to be here in April or May. June, July, August, September. That's, you know, five five or six months ago. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and see what this is, guys. I'm going to open this up. I will do what I do every time. I'll give it a fair assessment, a fair review. If I like it, I'll tell you. If I don't like it, I'll tell you. If I have no idea what the heck it is or why I have it, I'll tell you that too, guys. So, all right, let me get this open, and we will check it out. Let me start off by apologizing if it starts raining a lot or thundering. We are in the middle of a tropical depression or whatever in Southeast Texas right now. Uh, a lot of areas are flooded. We are high and dry uh, as we are pretty much every time there's a hurricane or a storm that comes through. Uh, the only thing that we worry about here is of course tornadoes and high winds uh, damaging homes and stuff but uh, there weren't e even any trees that could fall over in a in a distance of my house that could damage the house so hopefully we'll be good uh but yeah it has been raining for about the last two and a half days uh i know a lot of areas around here have gotten a lot of flooding i know some people who've uh, gotten some water in their houses so hopes or my, my thoughts go out to everybody that might be in this area and might be suffering some loss this week uh, I really feel for you guys as I did last time uh, it really it really is kind of painful to drive around after after a storm and see everything that people have to throw out uh, antique furniture things that have been in their homes for a long time it's really really uh, kind of uh, effective to watch that kind of stuff or see that kind of stuff so uh, to anybody that's going through this and it's not as fortunate as we have been I really uh, am, am thoughtful and praying for you guys and hoping that everything uh, works out so anyway guys loot crate that's what this is let's go ahead and move on to loot crate got the box open uh, all right, feels like there's a shirt in here. Oh man, I have no idea what this box is, guys. Uh, all right, I'm gonna pull the first thing out. We'll see what it is, and uh, maybe that will let me know what this box is. But here we go, guys. This is an egg. It is an egg. It says Zelda on it. Tommy Zelda. I don't know, guys. Let me open this up. We'll see what this is. I don't even remember a box that had Zelda in it. So, as far as I know, there was a Masters of the Universe box that they did, and I was tempted to buy it, but I didn't. I chose not to get it because I'm just really tired of Loot Crate. So, if this is the Masters of the Universe box, then I may have gotten this without paying for it. Maybe they shipped it by mistake, 
but we'll see what this is. I can't remember if Zelda was in that box or not. So this is a little cheat sheet. Apparently this is sort of like a little mystery mini kind of character. Uh, there are, looks like four different ones that you can get, and they're all Link. Uh, they're all different versions of Link. There's a green, a blue, a purple, and a red. Four different color Links, 12 different Link figures to collect. Well, that's confusing. Three different facial expressions. Okay. Four different colors, but three different facial expressions. So, all right. Looks like there is a smiling one, a, a, a frowning one. I don't know. Well, let's open it and see which one we got. It looks like it is purple. Uh, but I will look and see what the facial, the facial expression is on this guy. Uh, it's going to be tiny, so you guys might not be able to see it. Uh, oh, that is freaking creepy that's really creepy when you turn his head guys his eyes move i will try to put some footage this is the purple one and he is smiling when you turn his head though his eyes move they go back and forth like his head is moving but his face isn't moving or something i don't know that is really creepy i'll try to get some close-up footage of it so you guys have a chance to see it uh really weird he did come with a shield and of course his sword or a dagger I guess uh, let me go ahead and get these out as well well there you go guys that is Link with the sword and the shield he is purple uh, and he is smiling I guess the variations were all Link, just different color outfits and different facial expressions. Uh, but it is really, really bizarre that his eyes move when you move his head back and forth. That is a little bit too much. Uh, but yeah, I have never really been a big fan of Zelda. Never really played Zelda games growing up. I played a lot of Mario. I played a lot of Donkey Kong. And then once I kind of, uh, once I kind of evolved to older games, Metal Gear Solid, uh, Assassin's Creed things like that uh, like I said pre previously guys I'm right in the middle of the last of us right now which I'm absolutely loving uh, but yeah I never really played Zelda games uh, but the newest one which name whose name I'm not gonna be able to think of right now uh, on the switch I do have a switch I bought it to play Smash Brothers and I actually can't stand link on Smash Brothers either I think he's one of the worst characters uh, but yeah I haven't played the newest game. It does look really good. It looks reminiscent of like Skyrim. And I actually have uh, The Legend of Zelda 1 and 2 on my Wii U, I believe, uh, downloaded from the Nintendo Direct Store. And uh, I've play tried to play through them, but I just didn't really like them that much, so I just didn't continue to play. So uh, this is the egg that it came in, guys. Just a green egg. And this is the spoiler sheet right there. Uh, just four different colors and different facial expressions. That's weird. I don't know. Four Sword, Four Swords Adventures, The Legend of Zelda, Four Swords Adventures. Uh, so maybe the swords are different colors as well, I guess. But all right. Well, that was the first thing that was in this box, guys. I'm trying to find smaller items so I don't have to pull the larger stuff out right now. Uh, all right. Here we go. This is in a bag. This looks like a keychain. This is a really strange box, guys. I don't know where I got this, why I have this box, or where it came from. Uh, this is a keychain. Oh, Terminator Genesis. Terminator Genesis keychain. It is a brain chip. That's really, really strange, guys. Uh, brain chip keychain. It's kind of a heavy keychain, though. I don't know if I would put it on my keys because it's actually here. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, guys. So I wouldn't, I don't think I would put it on my keys. I don't like to, my keys to be very heavy in my pocket. Uh, but yeah, I don't even, I've, I, have, I don't think I've seen Terminator Genesis. I think the last one I saw was Salvation. Uh, so maybe that's why I don't know what this is. But yeah, I do love the Terminator movies. I just haven't seen Genesis yet. Um, the new one that's coming out, though, I don't remember. I don't know what it's called. Where they bring back Sarah Connor, uh, that one looks awesome. Uh, all right, guys, moving on. Once again, try to find something small. Here's a pin. What is this box? Like, <laughs> I don't know what this box is. All right, all right. I'm gonna open this up, guys. This is really bizarre. All right, guys, this is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pin. 
It is the TCRI uh, mutagen canister. I'll put a better picture of it right here, guys, so you get a chance to look at it. Uh, it has Donatello as like a baby turtle in the mutagen, but yeah, that's what it is, guys. So Terminator Genesis, Legends of Zelda, Ninja Turtles. All right, let's go on to the next thing here, guys. There is a bigger box here, so that's what I'm gonna pull out next. All right. That is so bizarre. All right, guys, this is the Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. This is the Castle Dice uh, set. I have actually seen pictures of this because I haven't been avoiding, avoiding Loot Crate spoilers because I canceled Loot Crate. Uh, it's a castle with one uh, Dungeons and Dragons die. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, guys, so I can't tell you anything about this really. But I guess you drop it in here and it rolls the die for you. It comes out the bottom. You can also drop it in the towers. Uh, it's really cool. I've just never played this game, so I don't really know much about it. Never been a Dungeons and Dragons fan, uh, but it is definitely a cool item to get. Um, I think it's a really neat display. I'm not going to give any bad marks on this because this is actually really, really a cool item. I'm just not a Dungeons and Dragons fan, so. Uh, but yeah, this would probably be pretty cool to somebody that played Dungeons and Dragons there, guys. So it is an official product. It says Dungeons and Dragons on here. That's what the red is there. Uh, yeah, it's neat looking. It's really cool. Uh, all right, guys. Yeah, that is the Dungeons and Dragons uh, dice roll thing. Um, all right. The last thing I feel in here, guys, it seems like it might be the shirt. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing that's left in here. This is the shirt, guys. All right, are we ready? This is... Well, this is actually a really cool shirt. That is from Ninja Turtles as well, guys. Uh, yes, that's the Technodrome. That's Krang's Technodrome, or basically like the blueprints for the Technodrome. I actually really like this shirt. I'm glad that this came in this box, uh, even though I don't know why I got this box, because I thought I had canceled it. But yeah, Technodrome. It does have a lot of green fluff on there though a lot of really weird green fluff on the back hold on look guys i don't know if you could see that but there's a lot of like weird material stuck to this shirt but it is a really cool shirt i do like ninja turtles i'm a giant ninja turtles fan um we are big ninja turtles fans recently guys the nickelodeon show uh teenage mutant ninja turtle nickelodeon the cgi show was absolutely one of the best ninja turtle things that i've ever watched the movies that came out uh not so great didn't really like them but the the cgi show that was on nickelodeon was awesome which is probably why this says nickelodeon at the top of this pin here guys but yeah really really good show sean astin and seth green were the voices of two of the turtles um and i can't remember the other voices but there's a lot of famous people that that did voices in that show it is really good if you've never seen it and you like ninja turtles you should absolutely watch that show because it is absolutely terrific uh there is a spoiler card in this box i'm going to go ahead and pull it out uh and then the rest of this box is like a coloring it's like a coloring book thing, a dragon guarding treasure, and it says, this says the property of, and I guess you can write your name in there. So you have to flip this box inside out, and then this is like a uh, like a treasure chest sort of thing, I would assume. So yeah, but you just have to color the dragon and the treasure chest and whatever. So, all right, putting the box down there. This is June 2019, and the theme was Toy Box. Um just weird i didn't think that i paid for this box guys but maybe i did i have the exclusive dungeons and dragons castle dice tower uh that is a really really cool item i do really think that's a pretty neat item right there uh even though i'm not a dungeons and dragons fan i can still appreciate the like the artistry that i guess artistry that goes into making something like this really really cool i do like it a lot uh, the exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Technodrome shirt. I'm a big fan of turtles. I don't think I have any Ninja Turtle shirts, so this will be the first one that I've ever gotten, the Technodrome. Uh, I do constantly wear a Ninja Turtles hat in my videos, 
maybe you guys have noticed it. I'm not going to tell you which one it is because I'm, there's probably a lot of people that didn't know it was Ninja Turtles. But I do wear a Ninja Turtles hat in a lot of my videos. It's actually my favorite hat out of my entire hat collection. This is my favorite hat. Uh, but yeah, I do wear one of those. So go look and see if you can figure out which hat it is. It's Ninja Turtles, guys. Uh, then we had the Legend of Zelda figure. That's the little purple Zelda figure right there. Hopefully I got a good picture of that. A delightful surprise in your toy box. Okay, this is the surprise. The delightful surprise was the Terminator Genesis keychain. It says, half the fun of our childhood toy boxes was rediscovering old favorites. <laughs> this is why I canceled Loot Crate, guys, because they're putting old stuff in these boxes. Um, this month's crate includes a surprise looter favorite item. What you'll get is a mystery. The possibilities are just as limitless as your imagination. Okay, probably not that limitless. Um, Terminator Genesis doesn't seem like it goes with the theme of toy box from your childhood at all. I know I didn't watch the Terminator movies when I was a kid, and that's when they came out, the first two at least. But I didn't watch them when I was a kid because, you know, they weren't really child appropriate. Uh, and then, of course, the exclusive TMNT Ninja Turtles pin. I feel like we've gotten a Ninja Turtles pin before, but that's not the one we got for sure. The other one was different. So, I don't know anything about this box, guys. Toy box is what it says right there. Um... I don't know why I got this box. I thought I'd canceled. I don't hate this box, though. I do not appreciate the looter favorite items. Looter favorite just means they're sending you something they've sent you probably before. I fortunately have never gotten this before, but it says there were a bunch of items that they, they were just trying to get rid of stuff, guys, so they threw extra things in the box. Um, this is kind of strange. Not really a big fan of the Zelda figure because it creeps me out a little bit. But yes, I do really like this. I do really like the shirt. The pin is cool. I do appreciate good pins. Um, this is basically, I don't even know what this is. I guess I need to watch this movie. Uh, it looks like a, a chip or something. Almost looks like a SD card uh, from the future. Uh, I thought it was a chocolate bar when I first pulled it out because it's brown and it's uh, separated into pieces, as you can see right there. So tell me what you think, guys. What's your favorite item from this box? Why do you think I got this box? Because I'm pretty sure I didn't pay for this one. Uh, I guess the next one, July, would have been the She-Ra and Masters of the Universe box, which I'm assuming I'm not going to get, hopefully, because I, I didn't pay for it. So, uh, But yeah, that's everything in this strange random box they sent me, guys. Tell me what your favorite item was. Do you guys like Ninja Turtles? Have you watched that Nickelodeon show? Because it is terrific, and I really like it a lot. I would love to talk about it more. Uh, but yeah. I think that's it, guys. Strange Loot Crate box sent over to me. I would say this was not a horrible box. This was not a terrible box. It did have a looter favorite item in there, which is one of my biggest pet peeves, was looter favorite items. I don't like that. That's one of the reasons I canceled Loot Crate, guys. Uh, they have gone bankrupt. I am still waiting for my Loot Fright box. I don't know if they're ever even going to send those boxes out, guys. If I start to see other people on YouTube opening those boxes, then I would hopefully expect to get mine. But that may or may not ever happen. But it was like a $35 box, so I'd really either like to get my box or get my money back. But I probably won't get my money back, so hopefully I will get that box. But... <sighs> Okay, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Lots of Loot Crate weirdness, strange things that they shipped over to me. Uh, as always guys, I am Tylock. This is Homespun Geek. And I hope you have a nice day.